family this is how short Sonia hair was in 2016 after years of damaging her hair and not knowing the right ingredients and products to use thanks to all the aware natural ingredients this is how long her hair is now I try to do less with her hair nowadays because I'm happy with the length and the health of her hair in today's video I will be using only two natural ingredients one is my black rice black rice is one of the best types of rice it is very healthy it can also replace white rice easily for hair care rice loses many of its nutrients when it is processed but black rice retain all of those nutrients better than any other type of rice the husk of black rice is left on which makes it very very highly concentrated source of antioxidants now these antioxidants are present in large amount in black rice black rice is also very high in fiber with about two grain of fiber per half cup of black rice black rice is also gluten free it has a really great protein ratio they are about five grams of protein in half cup of rice I've been using black rice for many years on my hair, especially when I started my hair care journey. I'll leave those videos down in the description box for you. I always love to rinse my rice just so I can get all those debris away from the rice before trying to ferment it. With our three tablespoons of black rice, according to your hair length and your hair texture, you can use more. And then I will be adding in one and a half cup of water. Our next ingredient is kiwi seeds. Some people call it quino. But kiwi is considered a complete protein. It contains all nine essential amino acids that contributes to stronger, healthy hair. It is also considered a superfood that can help nourish both your hair and scalp from within. The hydrolyzed protein content from kiwi can seal split ends. It is also high in vitamin E content, which helps minimize hair loss. It is lower in sodium and higher in calcium, iron, copper, zinc, manganese, potassium, phosphorus, and magnesium. The amino acids and minerals found in kiwi have been proven to aid in conditioning of your hair and your scalp. After combining both of my powerful ingredients together, I'm just going to give it a good stir and then I will cover it up and leave it on my counter for 24 hours for both of them to ferment in our water. Our rice and kiwi have been fermenting for over 24 hours. So I'm now just going to screen it and then I will transfer it into my spray butter. When you soak black rice overnight, this is how it's looking. It will burst open. That's fine. And it also absorb a lot of the water. So I'm now just going to take my stocking, screen our treatment and then transfer it into our spray bottle. So this is how Sonia hair is looking. I'm just going to re-moisturize it and then throw it back into braids. Now to re-moisturize her hair, I would just be using the S Secret Group Oil. This is my 21 Group Oil ingredient and this is the only Group Oil that I use on her hair to keep her hair growing long and healthy and to also retain length. And for our treatment, I got it right here. So I'm just going to show you guys exactly how I'm going to be using it on her to re-moisturize her hair. So I'm taking all her braids down. I'm just going to put her hair in three big braids so that it can be easy for me to take it down after three or four days to re-moisturize 
for here. So I'm just going to start off with this first section. The good thing I love about black rice, the smell is not strong like white rice. I did use white rice on my daughters and myself here in the past. But when you ferment white rice overnight, oh man, the smell is very, very terrible. Now, not because of that, I would say that I wouldn't use white rice again, but black rice work better for me and the white rice work better for my daughter when I did our challenge. It is just so difficult getting around with the smell. I also tried the lemon peeling. I try essential oils, it helped just a little bit, but you wouldn't notice any big difference in it. Now, rice treatment is also known to have many benefits thanks to its natural antioxidants, and it is also believed to boost metabolism. The use of rice has a very, very long history in hair care for nearly over 2000 years. Rice has been used in Asia as part of hair care. It is also used to wash, deep condition, and nourish the hair. It gives your hair that shine and it also makes your hair feel and look healthy. It is great for both dull, damaged hair. As you guys saw, I first went in with the treatment on her scalp, massage that in and also spray it on her hair shaft. And then I went in with my growth oil, the S Secrets Growth Oil, apply it to her scalp and also applying some on her hair and her ends. Concentrating your treatment on your scalp is very important and after that, giving yourself a good scalp massage is also very important which will circulate blood flow and that leads to hair growth and healthy hair. And then I will just throw her hair into three big braids. I'm done re-moisturizing her hair with the treatment and this is how her hair is looking. After three or four days, I will repeat the same process with the treatment. So this is the rest of the treatment. I'm just going to also spray some on my hair just to refresh my hair. Because this can also be used as a daily moisturizer. Just a little disclaimer when it comes to using rice on your hair. Many people with low porosity find it to be very strong for their hair and leaves their hair feeling dry and brittle instead of nourishing and growing their hair. So please do not overdo it. If you find your hair to be strong, you can either just use this as a rinse eye treatment 
apply it to your hair, leave it on for a few hours, and then rinse it out and moisturize your hair. I am high porosity. That is why I can leave it in my hair. My daughter's hair is also high porosity. If you love this video, please do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.